DJI RC2 First Use Guidelines. In this video, we will show you how to use DJI RC2 for the first time. Activation. Press the power button on the remote controller once, and then again and hold for about two seconds to turn on or off the remote controller. Select a language and country or region after powering on the remote controller. Connect the remote controller to the internet via Wi-Fi and select the time zone, date, and time. For new users, please register before logging in. Log in with your DJI account if you already have one. After successfully logging in, an activation prompt will appear on the screen. Tap to activate. The remote controller is now activated. Tap start to enter the function guide and learn more about the features and usage of DJI RC2. Linking. The remote controller is already linked to the aircraft when it is purchased together as part of a combo, and they can be directly used for powering on and activating the remote controller and aircraft. If linking is required, follow the steps to link the remote controller and the aircraft. Tap Connection Guide in the bottom right of the app and follow the on-screen instructions. When the remote controller beeps, and the status LED blinks blue, indicating that the remote controller is ready for linking. Press and hold the power button on the aircraft for about four seconds and release it after hearing an indicator tone. The battery level LEDs will blink in sequence, indicating that the aircraft linking starts. Once linking is successful, the remote controller stops beeping. The remote controller status LED is solid green and the battery level LEDs on the aircraft turn solid and display the battery level, indicating that the linking is successful. If linking fails, you can download and use DJI Assistant 2 Consumer Drone Series from the official DJI website on your computer to update the firmware of your aircraft and remote controller to the latest version, and then try linking again. Firmware Update Before updating, Make sure the battery level of DJI RC2 and the intelligent flight battery of the aircraft are at at least 20%. A prompt will appear on the top left of the screen if a firmware update is available. Tap the prompt to enter the update screen. Tap Update to update the aircraft and remote controller to the latest firmware version. During an update, please do not power off the device or exit the DJI Fly app. After the update, the aircraft and remote controller will remain powered on. Placing remote controller antennas. When operating an aircraft, one should timely adjust the orientation and distance between the remote controller and the aircraft, as well as adjust the antenna position. The signal between the aircraft and the remote controller is most reliable when the antennas are positioned in relation to the aircraft. When flying at a long distance, adjust the direction of the remote controller antennas and make sure their flat side is facing the aircraft so that the remote controller and aircraft are within the optimal transmission zone. Taking photos and videos. Locate the focus shutter button on the top right corner of the DJI RC2 remote controller. Press halfway down on the button to autofocus and press all the way down to take a photo. The record button is located in the top left corner of the remote controller. Press to start recording and press again to stop. You can also adjust the tilt of the gimbal by using the gimbal dial on the left side. In the video mode, use the dial on the right side of the remote controller to adjust the zoom. After capturing, tap the playback icon below the shutter record button to view and download your footage shot. Thanks for watching.